It's been a long time since an Egyptian film competed at the Cannes Festival. Ishtebek clash takes place in the back of a police vehicle, in which individuals representing opposing political views have been arrested amid protests following the overthrow of former President Mohamed Morsi. Diabolis wants to do different movies on Egypt, movies which reflect the socio-political situation of the country. He didn't know how to tackle the subject. His brother Khalid came up with the idea of placing all segments of Egyptians in one police truck. Through their journey in the truck, they talk, argue and discuss the country's problems and what it faced lately. The film received positive reviews at the Cannes Festival. It has not been released yet in Egypt. Ironically, it was heavily criticized by state-owned media for being too politically aggressive. But Dieb, the producer, says it wasn't the government which attacked the film. And the ones who criticized didn't even see the movie. The movie was not attacked by the authorities. It was attacked by two programs in the Egyptian state-owned TV. I think they were afraid the film was talking about the famous police truck incident, but I completely deny that the movie has any relation to the famous police truck incident. Dieb is denying any links to a real-life incident that took place in 2014. Several Brotherhood prisoners were killed by police while being transported to prison in a police vehicle. The officers said they were defending themselves from the prisoners who tried to break out. All policemen were acquitted. The producer explains the movie covers the period when Mohamed Morsi and the Brotherhood were in power in 2013, not now. The film doesn't have any political stance of view. It doesn't relay one side or speak on behalf of a certain political entity. The film's not biased to any political group, not rightist or leftist. The movie reflects the divisions and conflicts inside Egypt then. This film is not against someone in particular. It's against divisions and conflict within our Egyptian society. The actors' syndicate denounced what was said in the program against the film, but the government said the criticism came from the media, not the state, and the film was granted license to be released in cinemas without any form of censorship. The film will be shown here in August. It has caused controversy even before being released, and many critics expect it will gain a lot of attention when it hits theaters in two months. Yes, Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.